In this video, we're going to show you how to replace the fuel pump and filter on a Ducati Monster 696. Should be between the years of 2009 through 2014. In the box, you're going to find the strainers, fuel filter, clamps, electrical wiring harness, some dampers, and the fuel pump itself. You won't end up using all of the stuff that's in the box, just the stuff that you're going to see in the video. Tools are pretty simple. You're going to need some hose clamp pliers. I use some needle nose, a Phillips and flathead screwdriver, and an Allen key. I use some side cutters to take apart the hose clamps, the Oedeker clamps that are on there, as well as cut the zip ties. I use these side cutters to pry the hoses off of the filters and off the pump itself. I don't actually cut through anything here. Phillips head screw here. Just use uh, the Phillips head screwdriver and take that out and then pull the stock out. Pry off the fuel strainer. Pull out the pump. Inside the pump housing, you're going to find two Allen head screws. I just used an Allen wrench, took those out. Next, I pulled off a little rubber nipple. I took off the last Oetica clamp there and then pulled that fuel hose off. 
last part of disassembly was taking off the big o-ring so I could clean underneath it and make sure there was no gunk that was going to cause a leak later on. Side by side, the pumps are identical. Just make sure that you take off any of the protective caps. Cut a piece of the included fuel line to go on top of the pump. Install the fuel line, the hose clamps, and the fuel filter in the correct direction. You'll see that the strainer is now attached to the bottom of the housing. Place it on and then put the screws, the Allen head screws back into the base plate for the fuel pump assembly. Insert the fuel pump into the housing there and then begin putting back the hose clamps uh, around the housing and zip ties and we'll then start to attach the fuel line. And we can put in at this point too the stock there and that Phillips head screw. Reinstall the little rubber nipple. Put the hose clamps on the flexible fuel line, put it back into the housing, and then on top of the fuel filter itself.
compress the clamps with either clamp pliers or you can use the side cutters that we were using to take them off in, uh, in the beginning. Connect the electrical components. Replace the zip ties and other, other hose clamps as it was when you took it apart. Reinstall the base gasket over it.